In this video, I want to go over how you can create an animated GIF button to use with your Feedback Wiz template. As you can see here, this is our normal simple color button. And below two, these two buttons here are actually animated GIF color changing buttons. So I'm going to go through the steps on exactly how you can create this and import this into Feedback Wiz to use for your follow-up email sequences. The first step is you have to go to a website called thebuttonfactory.com. This is where you can create a steel button and you know you can come in here and basically put in whatever text you want and in this example here we're going to show you how to create the different color buttons. So essentially all you're really doing is you're creating multiple um, versions of this button in different colors and putting them together into an animated GIF. So there's a program that you can use or a website I'll show you here to figure out how to make the color gradient change uh, smoothly. Uh, this website here is called uh, www.perban.dk and this is a color gradient maker. So if I was gonna make a blue color button, uh, I can come in here and select you know, what color I want to start with and then what color I want to end with and you can choose a you know, different amount of steps. Um, the more steps you have, uh, the smoother the transition. So if you're going to do 10 steps here, you can see it's going to come in here and generate me exactly which color codes to use. So once you generate the color codes or figure out what colors you want to use, then all you got to do is color, copy uh, the color code here, go back into the button factory where it asks you for color. Uh, first thing you want to do is also click on unicolored since we're only using one color. And then paste, copy and paste the color code in here. And once you copy and paste it, you can download the file. Once you have all your files downloaded, you can see how each one has a different color. You can come to this site called easygif.com and click on GIF Maker and click on Choose Files. Once you've chosen your files, click on Upload and Make a GIF. Once all your images are loaded, you can come in here and choose exactly what colors to start off with and end with. And you know the delay time allows you uh, how long each color is shown. Um, in this case, I usually like to put maybe about 70 so you can see that you sh the colors actually um, don't change as fast. Uh, you can also do cross fade frames. That way it's a smoother transition. Once you're satisfied with your button, come in here, right click and save image and save it to your computer. Inside the Feedback Wiz template editor, you can come in here and create a new link. So for this, for this example, I'm going to put in a brand new Leave Product Review link. And you can highlight and remove the text. And inside the text is where you can click on this image icon where clicking on this would ask you to insert an image file. So click on Choose Files. Select the button that you've saved, and it will insert it inside your template for you. And you can see that this is the button that you've created using the three tools I've mentioned. There are many different types of buttons you can create using this methodology. Um, for example, here, this one has more of a color transition from different colors, and this one actually has 10 different change changes in a very slow transition, so it's not as fast as the other ones. Another example would be this one here where it only has three color changes, and you can see it's very clear. And another type of button you can create is a um, using the same color and having the text change. So these are all different types of buttons you can create. Um, in terms of conversions, uh, the best thing to do would be to A-B test it yourself to see um, which one gets which one does better for you uh, for us we've done some AB testing through a couple hundred Amazon sellers and they've all said that they like the slower transition uh, color gradient button better than the other type of button so we recommend um, you know sticking to something that doesn't change as much thank you please subscribe to our YouTube channel and for more information please visit feedbackwiz.com